Thank you, Madam President. Uh, Madam President, I beg to move for a second reading of a bill shortly entitled Invest St. Lucia Amendment. Uh, Madam President, I hope it will be clear that this time this, was, this is again a pretty straightforward amendment and the purpose is really to address um, changes that have taken place since the government changes. As you know, usually when there is a general election, prime ministers or ministers of finance or whoever is the leader of government may have certain configurations in their cabinet of ministers. In this case, the Labour Party government made um, its own con had its own configuration and you have a situation where the Ministry of Commerce, um, Business Development was part of, um, sorry, investment was part of Commerce and Business Development. In this configuration, the Ministry of Commerce is not part of, or the Ministry of Investment falls under the portfolio of tourism, creative industries, culture, um, information, and is not under the same uh, department or the same ministry with commerce. So you, had, you have a situation where there is need for some realignment for the linkages that need to be formed and the oversight that needs to be provided by the Ministry of Commerce on matters of investment to be properly um, dealt with and so that you will not have any disjointed activity. So this amendment really seeks to allow the Ministry of Commerce to have a senior um, official in the person of the permanent secretary to sit on the board of Invest St. Lucia um, so that the necessary oversight and the necessary information for business development that pertains to that particular ministry um, be dealt with and be properly represented. And so that will allow for more efficiency and a more seamless and improved investment climate. So really, this is necessary to really deal with the, the representation that the Ministry of Commerce, which is the ministry that, that is um, responsible for business development, to, to be able to have that, that level of oversight on the board that represents the Ministry of Investment. Because as you would appreciate, Madam President, when there is this investment, it has implications for business, business development, both um, foreign and local. So that is the real purpose for this amendment, and I hope that we will find it necessary to see the, the reason why it should be done. I thank you, Madam President.